As world leaders get ready for the APEC Forum in Yokohama tomorrow, leaders of world peace are gathering in Hiroshima. Nobel Peace Prize winners are discussing nuclear disarmament at the World Summit of Nobel Peace Laureates, but China's human rights record is also high on the agenda. Nobel laureates discussed world peace in the city that fell victim to the atomic bomb 65 years ago. The roster includes the supreme head of Tibetan Buddhism, the Dalai Lama. The main theme was nuclear disarmament, but China's human rights were also prominent in the discussions. This year's Nobel Peace Prize winner, Liu Xiaobo, in prison in China, cannot attend. His proxy at the summit, Wu Er Kaishi, is a former student who took part in the 1989 Tiananmen Square protests against the Chinese government. Liu Xiaobo also participated at the Tiananmen Square demonstrations. Last year, he was found guilty of criticizing China's one-party political system. Ware made a speech on behalf of Liu, calling on China to change. To call on Chinese regime's promise to the world of being a, a responsible member of the international community. And the first step should be releasing Liu Xiaobo immediately and unconditionally. Many participants at today's summit criticized the Chinese government for detaining Liu. One of the spirit of uh, Mr. Liu, who has been recognized by the world uh, for his uh, courage, um, it's important that he be allowed to come to Norway. So it was Maya Reed McGuire from Northern Ireland. Meanwhile, Chinese leader Hu Jintao arrived in Japan this evening to participate in the APEC Forum. The Chinese government is strongly against Liu receiving the peace prize. Beijing has also repeatedly objected against visits to Japan by the Dalai Lama, who is calling on China to improve its human rights record in Tibet. It's extremely rare to find Hu Jintao and the Dalai Lama in Japan at the same time. Nobel Prize winners are planning to issue a statement calling on the abolishment, calling for the abolishment of nuclear weapons as the summit draws to a close Sunday. The conference is considering including China's human rights issue in the final statement. So Hiroshima Prefecture and the city asked the U.S. President Barack Obama to visit Hiroshima when he comes to Japan to participate in APEC meetings. However, his visit wasn't realized. Obama was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize last year, so he has a good reason to participate in the conference on nuclear disarmament. As Chinese President Hu Jintao is in Japan, participants took up human rights issues of China.